Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at ladder safety when you're washing your caravan down. So come and join us. So if you're like me, you take the ladder out of the garage, you bring it down to the storage yard, you prop it against the caravan and you wash the caravan roof. You might do this maybe once, twice a year, because basically you don't really like leaning on a ladder, even though it's only a few feet high, because you'll be surprised how many injuries can be caused uh, relating to falling a few feet from a ladder. So I thought about this for a while and I spotted in a magazine, it was a Caravan and Motorhome Club magazine, an advertisement for a, a small company uh, from the UK called Slipstop. And they make this product which uh, attaches to the caravan, it protects your caravan from the ladder, but also it retains the ladder to the caravan so there's no accidental slips or falls. So let's take a look at the slip stop. So let's take a close up look at the slip stop. What you have is a section of yellow thick vinyl material and this is to protect your caravan side from your ladder. At the top here we have a grey piping section and this fits inside your awning rail. We have two aluminium plates here which are securing the velcro which will then fit around your ladder rung on either side. And turning it over we have a section here which is quite firm rubber tubing and that will protect your caravan against the weight of yourself and your ladder. So also with the slip stop you get a belt with a quick release buckle. You get this section here which has two loops in it and has a carabiner. This can fit inside the belt itself and round one of the rungs on the ladder and it'll hold you to the ladder. So here's a slip stop. What we're going to do now is we're going to fit it to the caravan and I'll show you how it attaches to the ladder. So fitting the slip stop is quite simple. We take the piping section using the rubber side on the inside and the metal on the outside and we feed it through the awning rail like so. I, I start here, uh, yours may vary, but try and find the nearest slot to the top of the awning rail and then you push it. What you can do then is take the PVC section and slide it along like so. So once we've got the slip stop in place, what we're going to do is place our ladders against the caravan like so. And what we want is the Velcro to be on the inside. So we do have to pop up the ladder before we secure it, obviously to secure these straps. So we take the Velcro, which I have to admit is a very strong, good quality Velcro too. We place it over and then we wrap the Velcro tightly around the rung, like so. And now it's secured to the actual slip stop and the caravan. And as you can see, if I pull, that's the amount of slack that you have with it. But what I also like is this, you can actually move it along without causing any damage to another section. And then you can use it in that area too. So it's ideal for cleaning the caravan roof. So as well as this slip stop, what you get is this belt as well. And also you can attach to this belt a lanyard which has a carabiner. Now you can secure this through the actual rungs of the ladder to secure you to the ladder itself. And it's pretty good, it's pretty solid too. They also come with an additional lanyard which allows you to walk on the roof and still attaches you to the ladder. But to be honest, I wouldn't walk on my caravan roof. Um, I'd just use a long brush as I always do. But nonetheless, I like the idea of this. You could probably use this uh, elsewhere when you're doing other jobs around the house with your ladders. Well everyone, that's a slip stop. I think this is a very good product. It keeps you safe and stable on your ladders while you're cleaning your caravan roof. 
and also it's made by a UK company and it's manufactured in the UK. But what's even better is the profits from this slip stop also go towards MS, which I think is a worthy cause. Now if you'd like one of these, click the link below. Now mine came in at £60 including delivery. Uh, I don't have the price for the other version for your motorhome, but it is on the website. Well thank you very much for joining us, I do hope you'll join us soon, but in the meantime, bye for now.